Another lesser-known mystery is the case of the Sodder children disappearance. On Christmas Eve in 1945, a devastating fire broke out in the Sodder family home in Fayetteville, West Virginia, USA. George and Jenny Sodder, along with some of their children, managed to escape the burning house. However, five of their children, Maurice, Martha, Louis, Jenny, and Betty, aged 14 to 5 years old, were unaccounted for and presumed to have perished in the fire. What followed was a series of puzzling events and inconsistencies that raised doubts about the official narrative. Despite an extensive search, no trace of the missing children or their remains were found in the fire debris. Furthermore, witnesses reported seeing the children near the house after the fire had started, suggesting that they may have escaped. The Sauter family became convinced that their children had not died in the fire but had been abducted. They believed that the fire was intentionally set to cover up the crime. George and Jenny Sauter tirelessly investigated the case for years, conducting their own inquiries and hiring private investigators. Over time, they uncovered various intriguing pieces of evidence. For instance, a stranger reportedly tried to sell Jenny a photo of a young man that bore a striking resemblance to one of the missing boys. Additionally, a woman claimed to have seen the children alive and well in Florida. The Sauters pursued legal and media attention hoping to shed light on the mystery and find their missing children. However, despite their efforts, the fate of the five Sodder children remains unknown, and the case remains unsolved. Numerous theories have emerged, ranging from abduction by a stranger to involvement in an underground child trafficking network. Some believe that the children may have been targeted due to George Sodder's outspoken views on Mussolini and his native Italy, as he was an Italian immigrant. To this day, the Sodder children's disappearance remains a haunting and baffling mystery. The case highlights the enduring anguish of a family searching for answers and the many unanswered questions that continue to surround the events of that tragic Christmas Eve in 1945.